if you want to notice about FX 8352 and FX 9590, that both of them belong to the same uh, architecture, file driver architecture, even though the FX 9000 series may lead you to believe that it's a newer architecture, it's not. The clock sequence in FX 9590 gets a significant boost, that's where most of its performance improvement comes from. 4.7 GHz of its 4 GHz in FX8250. Both of them are from 8 cores, and all the cores are same in both of them. Just you just increase the clock frequency and bring out the MD brings out the new part number. The turbo clock frequency for the first time crosses 5 GHz barrier with the FX9590. That that's what makes it uh, better. You also notice that this. FX 9590 is 300 megahertz higher in turbo clock, and that's where the pass mount is stored. It typically varies per different machine, but it's, it's roughly in proportional to the clock frequency increase in FX 9590. Now, the, the significant part is the QVC rating, which is uh, which gets a significant boost to 320 watts. That's essentially the not something that we would like to because even if you could take potentially FX 8350 and overclock it or and then you also you need extra heat sinking. So uh, AMD is not doing essentially uh, something very good but it's just, just cherry picking this uh, good clock, better processors and, and then uh, renaming it, repackaging it, higher thermal utility, higher performance, but more clock. Can read more and compare clock.